All right, man, getting my workout in. Got to get out to uh, go see my boy Lucky out there in Houston. Just getting a few things in real quick. Get on the plane tomorrow morning. Whew, super proud of Lucky. Whew. Super proud of Lucky, man. Over the last year, we've been working together as he's built up Lucci Gang. Mindset, personal development, positive vibes, all those sort of things. It's been amazing to watch. And now we finally get to connect. So coming out to Houston, Lucci Gang. It's amazing stuff, man. Let's go. What's up, Lucci gang? We back with another banger. Kelly Jean, you ready to go? Yeah. Houston, you ready to go? You want some chicken nuggets and french fries? Yeah. All right, let go. I'm off my seven day vegan challenge. I feel great. I feel like I really don't even want to continue eating meat. What was I telling you yesterday? I wanted to remind me. I said I wanted to talk about this seven day vegan challenge. What did I say? You got to be aware of what you're putting in your body. You got to be aware. A lot of us times we be on autopilot and we don't want to be aware of what we're doing, like what we eat in, our actions that we do, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We just on autopilot living life. You know what I'm saying? You go to work, you come home, turn on the TV. You know what I'm saying? We just on autopilot. You got to be aware of what you're doing. And that's why I gave up meat for seven days. You can't let your body be in control on just autopilot. I had to give up something that I really enjoy doing and I really enjoy eating. But today is a brand new week, a brand new day. A new seven day challenge has begun, but I am good on eating meat. So I'm finna go give me a Travis Scott cheeseburger, man. There you go. We managed to get in the car and we also managed to book an appointment for Houston and Kingston to get a haircut. So, say hi, King. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm playing a game. Uh, Kingston is the only one out of our kids that has not been attending on-campus school because they haven't responded to my request to switch him from online to on-campus. So, he's on lunch break right now and we're, in the, we're gonna end up getting them a haircut and some lunch while we're at it. Are we gonna eat first or? Yeah. yeah. So we're on our way. Are you ready for this? I want to pray for everybody in uh, uh, California. Kelly, just let me know that someone left a comment saying that they've been dark. The sky has been dark over there for two days from sun up to sundown. They ain't got no sunlight. It's dark. They can't breathe the air. And it's bad. These are the end times that the Bible talk about, y'all. That's why you got that's why it's important you gotta build your relationship with God. Because y'all see what's going on in the news, man. Y'all see what's going on in the world. It's a crazy world we're living in right now, man. You gotta be walking with God. We're about to eat this Travis Scott cheeseburger real quick, man. And then go get these <laughs> kids a uh, haircut. And then go meet up with Coach C and come up with a game plan. You know what I'm saying? That right there is the Homestyle Burger. Only served in Texas, man. But the mustard on it got like pepper and spices inside the mustard. It ain't regular mustard. So I'm gonna get the Homestyle Burger mustard inside of the Travis Scott meal. Yeah. Like the mustard that comes in the Homestyle Burger, I wanna add that to the Travis Scott Burger. I was over here talking about tell him to put spicy chicken on my chicken oh, sandwich. Okay, so it's not letting me. <laughs> you can't just tell somebody in the back, hey man, swap the mustard. <laughs> and I want an Eminem McFlurry. And an Eminem McFlurry. 
Regular. Regular. We're doing the most. <laughs> you went seven days without eating meat. You about to eat bacon and have your meat. Watch me be sitting on the toilet in a minute at the barbershop. Oh shop. my god. Last time I went to the barbershop, they ain't had no toilet paper in there, man. I sat down, I said, oh man, hold on, I had to get up real quick. I raised, remember when I got home when I got a haircut and I was like, don't talk to me, I gotta go to the restroom. Yeah, and I, I ran that. straight into the restroom. So wait, you sat down and you didn't wipe? No, nah, I was I was about to use it, but then I realized they ain't had no toilet <laughs> paper, so I got up real quick. <laughs> Ace, you need to buy you some toilet paper in that <laughs> barbershop, man. <laughs> that is hilarious. Let me find out. Thank you. Oh, man, I just spilled an M&M on my floor. Oh. Can I get some ketchup? Orale. Sí, que Dios la bendiga. Gracias. <laughs> que vendo la bendiga. Que Dios. Que Dios la bendiga. Good job. Say it again. Que Dios la bendiga. Hey. Have a good day. No. Look at me. God bless you. Oh. So Lucky legit asked for this home style mustard on the side. The lady comes and she goes, Oh, you want a spicy mustard? Yeah. I Get that about you. I didn't even know it was spicy. Is that what it is? Yeah. I can't wait to eat. We're gonna go post up outside the barbershop and have our lunch. And then go in and get a haircut. Bam! In there like gym wear. No, that's nice. yours. Oh, that's mine? Cheeseburger, let's try it out. It see what it do. Yeah, well, it says it right here. The Travis Scott Burger. So, it has... Why are you farting in auto-tune? <laughs> It has, tell them what it has. It got lettuce, it got ketchup, it got mustard, it got pickles, cheese, and bacon, and a cheeseburger, and some homestyle mustard, right? Seven ingredients. Thank you, Jesus. Tastes good. What's your what's your ra rating on that? Five stars, baby. You don't want a haircut? Too bad. You gotta get one. Our online video courses have been carefully planned and structured around the successful. It don't even hurt. It don't hurt. See? left we're walking out the barbershop and i was telling lucky how nice he looks with his haircut he's like you want to give me go ahead give me give me on there give me on there put me on the camera let's see fresh cut you're on the other side <laughs> You ain't even doing right. Dude, you were scared of you. I didn't want scared to cat. <laughs> Wait, don't don't get Hugh Kingston. Oh. Look at this one holding this bottle already. Just chilling. Oh. You dropped it. Let me help you. There you go. All right, we still up in the car. I know it looks like we've just been in the car, but we went home for a couple hours. Got the kids from school and fed them and got them situated. Elijah's in charge right now, taking care of them while I go and do have a business slash lunch meeting. I know y'all probably like, didn't y'all just have lunch? That was a little burger, man. That was like a few hours ago. But yeah, I'm about to go have a business meeting. Kelly and I both with Coach C and uh formally introduce myself because we ain't even never met in real life we have only talked through zoom and uh yeah i'm gonna put him on the vlog and he can explain to y'all how how much of a hard-headed client i was at the beginning and how uncoachable i was at the beginning because i thought i just knew everything 
But it's real. I I feel like that's like the best thing you can do is hire a mentor, or hire a coach. Or, you know what I'm saying? I wish I'd have did that a long time ago. Don't get lazy, I believe in you, that's disrespectful Times are crazy, get crazy, we protect the temple Oh, you a city stepper, watch how you get stepped on in Kingdom represent us, spreading Jesus throughout Texas My old me kept the chrome on me, ecstasy and Patron on me Now I'm saved, but ain't too much change Still got haters throwing stones at me hey, I don't get it, now I'm doing good Guess you hate to see me doing good You'd rather see me with my face on TV I'm stuck in prison like a hoodlum should Give them grace and a little space But a little space to make them lukewarm Baptized in the name of Christ Man, I feel fresher than a newborn I'm with a gangster five, man, it's sanctified But you can't survive, man, if it ain't alive I said Jesus Christ will give it life again Blind man receives What's sight What's up? Again. We finally get to meet Coach C That boy Caesar in the building He said he wanted a steak from Texas So I had to bring him to Longhorn Steakhouse Gotta get it, man. Gotta get you that real. You know what I'm saying? So I'm what to do. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we're sitting here with Caesar. I want you to tell them a little bit about yourself and yeah. how you started doing what you do. Yeah, man. So back in 2011, um, that's when I was kind of just in, you know, in a position where I wasn't happy. wasn't happy with life at all. wasn't happy with the way that things were going in my life. Um, needed to lose some weight. Needed to get my mind straight. And so I started working out, started doing personal development, started doing all the stuff that you guys have been seeing Lucky doing, reading the books and hitting, hitting that really, really hard. Uh, and then eventually within a few years, I became uh, a fitness coach, evolved from there to a life coach, and now I'm a, I'm a life business coach. So it's, it's been a long road. It's been a long, long road, but it's, uh, it's an amazing one. Yeah. And he just flew in from California and he's here in texas about to eat a texas man, steak let's do it, texas man. I'm size steak let's man. go <laughs> tell him how uncoachable i was at the beginning oh man, man so. let's lose the pain in my rear man he just, the I, pain. I thought i knew everything i'm like man i'll coach you man i know everything man you can't tell me nothing but it's really important that's like one of the best things yep. that i did and i wish i'd have done it sooner yep yeah, you gotta you know, be coachable. The thing is, is that in the beginning, you know, you have somebody coming into your life and you gotta remember this. This is like someone coming to your life, trying to get, kick you game on what it is you should be doing with your life and how you should be moving. And that's not easy for a man. That's not easy for, for any man to really like accept and take in. You gotta be at a place of humbleness. You gotta be at a place of wanting to have growth. And, you know, luckily we got lucky to a place of growth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the beginning, they were having problems with me. I was always trying to interrupt them and I wasn't trying to <laughs> hear what they were saying. They tell me they want me to do something. Like, man, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. Mostly all successful people have mentors or people that coach them and, and yep. help them out along their, you know, process and their journey through business and life. I've had, I've had throughout my last seven years as a coach, I have had at least a minimum of about five different coaches in my life. Yeah. Business, personal development, spiritual. I mean, the whole relational, like the whole nine, right? Just coaches, coaches, coaches. And it is, it's so important to be able to surround yourself by people who have already done what you're trying to achieve, right. soak up the game, and now create your version of what they're doing. Right. Because so. if you're just hanging around the same people you're hanging around with in junior high school, you ain't going to get nowhere. You know what I'm saying? No. You got to <laughs> get out there and meet other people. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> so you're two. Stop, you can't eat butter like that. He's trying to eat straight butter. <laughs> Put eat the butter bread. on your bread. He said he wanted he said he wanted a Texas steak, man. Oh, look at that. That, oh, that steak looked like Texas. Look at that, man. That thing is looking amazing. Jesus. All right, we just got out of there. How'd you like that steak? That Texas steak, oh, man. Texas, Texas. Texas. Texas size steak. All right, we're gonna go by the house, but uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get to work tomorrow. Tomorrow we got a big day ahead of us. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. See what we got coming. You watching Luciano TV.